I'm willing to bet you right now that you are taking your positive attitude for granted at work. You're probably taking it for granted at home too, but it's a little easier to be positive when you come home and your kids run to the door to greet you, right? But the fact of the matter is the way that we approach what we do every single day and the attitude that we bring to those daily activities and tasks is fundamentally responsible for the success that we will ultimately achieve. Uh, think about it. When something bad happens, are you able to power through? Are you able to be resilient enough to still accomplish what you need to do that day? Probably not as well as you would like to, right? So while you're going to the gym a couple times a week to take care of your body, what are you doing to exercise your mind? This is clip number four from a discussion I had with leadership expert Jeff Clatterbaugh. We talk about attitude, its importance, and how many people still take it for granted. Take a look here. But when you think about networking in a positive attitude, they're both taken for granted when it comes to, to business. Sure. Right? Networking is taken for granted less than business because, or than attitude because there's a tangible benefit and there's a tangible, uh, there's a number associated to how many LinkedIn connections you have, how many right. Facebook friends you have, Twitter followers. But fundamentally, a business is built on the foundation of who you know and how you approach your work. Yep, absolutely. And even... I thought that the attitude thing was a little hokey until I started working on some presentations and I started viewing other presentations and I started reading a little more about it, Think and Grow Rich yep. and um, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And you just, you, when it comes to attitude, it's such an overarching principle, but think about the little things and the little speed bumps that get in our way. An attitude is Absolutely. more than just waking up in a great mood in the morning, right? It's, okay, what happens when someone rear-ends you right. on your way to your speaking engagement, right? Exactly. Does it wreck the rest of your day, right? I still had work to do yesterday after I got rear-ended on my way to a speaking <laughs> engagement, right? And, and it's this resiliency and um, you know, your ability to, to power through when things don't always go your way. And you, you see the memes again all over the internet, and you know, here's the life of what people picture of an entrepreneur, and it's just growth, right? It's a steady, steady straight line from left to right going up, right? And really, in your own mind, it's this way forward, backwards, sideways, you know, diagonally, going backwards, I don't know how it goes backwards, time doesn't go backwards, right? It's just it's this big knot, this is big mess. Is. So how do you straighten that out? Mm -hmm. how, do you, um, how do you right the ship? And it comes down to how do you approach it? How yeah. do you control what you control? Or do you let things that you can't control negatively affect you and throw you away off base? You can't do that. So foundationally, the people you know and the way you mm -hmm. approach your day, that is um, taken for granted, mm -hmm. underappreciated, and absolutely necessary. I hope you enjoyed this piece of the interview that I had with Jeff. I'm happy to report that since then, we've both lost a few pounds too. You can see his website posted in the liner notes, and you can also go and view other excerpts from that interview on my channel. While you're looking around, you might as well go to my website, subscribe to my free weekly newsletter called the Parabola Press. It comes out every Sunday morning, and I know you're going to like it. Until next time, thanks for being here.